So Tasha exposes herself, let's get into it straight after this intro. So we can trend the internet! Why everyone is spamming me this video? Let's have a look. And someone tell Tasha K it is not Christmas yet, okay? She's got the Christmas themes going on. Boy to the world, the world. That's it, I'm getting my lawyers. <laughs> it is so cold out here, but you know I need to find myself a good lawyer. Ooh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you want to be my lawyer or not? I need a lawyer. I could pay you $5 a week. And maybe some wine. Excuse me. Shut the f up and let me sleep. Fine. I'm going to go on Craigslist. Laugh in the fast lane, we play our cards Praying we'll find out just who we are Bitch, I've been a king What up everyone, it's your boy, Martin Lewis It's your boy, Martin Lewis Martin Lewis Boy, Martin Lewis What up everyone, it's your boy Boy, Martin Lewis, Team Real, or should I say Marvin Lewis? Welcome to my channel where I call out fake ass and talk about YouTube drama. So you guys have been killing. You've been waiting for me to do a part two. <laughs> on this whole drama and basically it's a conclusion I guess I definitely wanted to finish off the previous video now is it true that lovely T teamed up with Tasha K she knew about all this shit that was going on with Star Marie talking all that shit like did she really jump on board with Tasha K just for some views I personally don't think so there is no evidence to prove otherwise just what Tasha K said anyway if you guys want more context to this story I do suggest you guys go check out part one I so if you guys are new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so don't miss out on any of the drama smash that like button let's get this video to 2,000 likes please share this video because it helps me out a lot you can do it if you guys have restored your leads all my social media links are in the description below so let's get straight into the drama. So either a few hours or a couple of days or even one day after I posted my video, Trasha K decided to post on her story on her community section on YouTube. I thought long and hard about this and I have to protect my brand. I'm not doing this to be disrespected to anybody or tear anybody else down. I'm doing this to protect others who trust my platform and have trusted me to disseminate the whole truth. Uh, did you do that with Cardi B and stuff? Oh no, you didn't? Oh, okay. She's very biased, the info was sketchy but entertaining. I'm in the business for entertainment and exploitation and make no excuse for my business. Just as Dr. Simi's real family is doing and George Foreman's alleged victim trusted me to put out what really happened. I don't need anybody questioning our platform's credibility. I told y'all that I would never put a fake news and if I did, I have always apologized for it. But he didn't say that he didn't do it and I know why because a very close source of mine confirmed that he actually may be allegedly sleeping with this young, melanated, richly chocolate girl. Done as a social experiment by a media company. I believe that looked like Travis Scott, at least a little bit, you know? These are the photos right here. I Those are the actual facts. More information come out, it's my job to report it. And if I get it wrong, it's my job to let you know I got it wrong. Everybody gets shit wrong. She basically tried to mix it into a nobody's perfect type of situation. Stay tuned for the real truth. And to anybody that made a video disseminating lies, be wrong. I 
have my legal team on standby. Ready to put every video down Bruh. immediately. Under that, there was a screenshot from a Twitter which said, Why knows from my heart to y'all's, I owe you the absolute truth. I built a real Bruh. brand to be real and remain real, even though I, I, I lied to y'all and take some things away. I prayed about this. I can't allow people to make up lies intentionally, trying to discredit everything we work hard to build, video by video. Stay tuned. Now my channel never got a strike, okay? I didn't get no strikes, so I guess I was telling the truth. <laughs> nah, but like, if she did strike me, easy. Appeal it, get my lawyers ready, and we'll sort it out that way. You know? Who's gonna honestly waste their money talking to all lawyers to try to get someone's transformative video down? You know what I mean? So, good luck. But anyway, she did strike other YouTubers' channel down, one of them being Camille's Corner. Article that a person who has built an entire career of talking about people is so upset about people talking about her. Where they do that at? <laughs> yeah, where they do that at, Tasha Gay. And what's really interesting is that she only striked these three. Why these three and not the other two? And for you guys that don't know, all you need to do to take someone's channel down is give them three copyright strikes. But the thing is, YouTube has noticed a lot of people are abusing the system. So now they lump strikes together. So it's a lot more difficult to try to abuse the system and take someone's channel down. So thank you, YouTube, for improving in that. So do you guys think this was an attempt to silence Camille? Let me know in the comments section below. And Camille brought up the fact that she has been striked before. She knows what it's like to be striked. Tasha ended up sending an email to Camille which read, Hey Camille, my apologies for your video being flagged. I asked my legal team that I got from the street to monitor my brand. My videos are being re-uploaded without credit being given and false allegations being made about my platform. I see that they flagged your videos. I will have you two release the copyright immediately. Just going forward, please send credit back to the channel so they won't flag your videos in the future. I honestly may not be able to see what's being done because I'm so busy these days. Keep up the good work. Looks like you dragged me for a living. Ain't mad at you, girl. Get those coins. My name is good for that. Yeah, which is basically a backhanded compliment. Anywho, take care and good luck on your channel, Tasha K. You said I smell like cheese. Oh my god, that's an allegation. Copy strike. Your legal team that you got off the street are f***ing stupid if they think they can go strike someone's channel because they said some about you. I don't know, maybe pay for some better lawyers. So, Tasha K, if we were to use the same logic that you're using, Cardi B can make a YouTube channel and then flag your videos, right? Am I correct? Because if your lawyers can do that on false allegations, I guess Cardi can maybe hire the same lawyers that you got off the street and maybe do the same thing to you. I, I don't know, that's, that's just a thought. Anyway, Tasha K finally drops these receipts that proved that Lovely T was a part of this scheme to So we can trans the internet! She posted on her YouTube community section Rhinos, I'm dropping the whole truth one by one There are texts between her and I Since folks wanna post lies They're gonna learn today Neither her or I, Lovely T, created a fake story for views We followed up on a real story for views and entertainment There is a huge difference. That's why I meant during my live video when I apologized and talked about the situation. These are actual texts between her and I during the planning stages. We were together every step of the way and both assumed that she was telling the truth. Lovely Chi changed her mind. I did it. Lovely T even helped me pick out the title. I will explain when things change in the next text messages. Tasha K is green text, lovely tea is gray text. Stay tuned. 
We are just getting started. Let's see if the truth or the lie that y'all believe about me is more entertaining. Question mark. FYI, I'm protecting my brand that someone intentionally tried to sabotage and discredit out of jealousy. My growth has made people uncomfortable. I have victims who need to trust my platform and no one will ever discredit what I have worked over time to build. This is the beginning. People discredit what you put out there. In my previous video, we have proven that you have no honor, no integrity, and you lie, and you're willing to do anything, including stepping on people, not telling the truth, just to get views and clout on YouTube. So I can see why people and other people might not want to trust you. And that's why Tasha K is mad. That's why she wants to strike these other channels. Because all of you guys are putting her on blast and other people see this this and that's why she's so concerned why else is she trying to strike channels why else is she trying to control what people say about her then she turns around and says oh bad press is good press that's all a lie she really is concerned about it you can tell she's very insecure but she doesn't want to show you guys that side of her anyway let's go into the text messages Tasha K says hey just got this call me when you get up can't find that damn festival. Lovely Cheese says, Just got up or keeps going to VM. And then Tasha K showed the uh, titles that she wanted for her video. You can check it out here. Tasha goes, Which title, sis? And Lovely T goes, Missy one, of course, especially being that she's always effing Dr. Sebi. Now, just because you gave two title ideas, this doesn't prove that she was involved in your interview. She didn't know you did the ish on purpose, did the interview purposely to make Cardi B look bad. I don't know if that was your intention, but did the interview purposely to get trans the internet. I don't think she knew that. And these text messages don't prove that. There's no text message of Lovely T going, oh yeah, are you gonna upload your video making Cardi B look like total shit? Oh yeah, do it, do it. Oh my god, yeah, and we can trend the internet together. We can all have it in the same, drop it at the same time. There's no messages of this. You guys were working on it at the same time. She dropped her video, you saw it, and you wanted to grab an interview. I don't think she was like, oh yeah, lovely tea. I mean, Trasha K, go get an interview with this lady. Let's plan everything. I don't think she was like that. But you're making it out like she is. That's what I'm getting from this. Am I the only one? Am I the only one that feels like that? Please comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you feel that way or if you feel you see this totally different. Let me know. I'm curious. But personally, I don't think she's lying. Not with the receipts I have. But it's entertaining for sure. But I had proof everything was photoshopped. Gonna present on Friday. Absolute proof. And witness statements, court docs. Lovely T says, Okay, so it's cool. I can't wait to see what she brings. She knows Cardi B, but her character is shady and all over the place. I don't trust her at all. Way too many inconsistencies in her character. She don't know if she want to be spiritual or ratchet. She need to buy my tea. So her text messages to me look like damage control. It, it didn't prove anything. It didn't prove that Lovely T was a part of this with you. Get trans the internet. She was doing her own thing posting the story and you were doing your own thing. And she end up exposing herself. I'm not exposing her by the way. Trasha K is very right. She says, there's nothing to explain because she exposes herself all the time. Anyway, she ends up going on YouTube talking about why their friendship ended. Now, I may talk about why their friendship ended in another video, but I just want to focus on this to complete my previous story. Now, is it true that Lovely T teamed up with Tasha K? She knew about all this shit that was going on with Star Marie talking all that shit. Like, did she really jump on board with Tasha K just for some 
views. Lovely T ended up posting the video about Star. Took her live stream, she put it on a channel, had 600,000 views, and, and I just thought it was the funniest thing. And I said, you know what? Since she got like 600,000 views, well, look, I'm gonna call up Lovely T, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I was like, you know, I wanna get her idea on me interviewing her. And so I called her up and I was like, yo, like, I think I'm gonna interview this girl. She's funny, she said, girl, do it. Do it. I said, okay. So let me, I said, let me jump in her DM. Okay, so you called Lovely T and said what you were going to do, and she said, do it. Does that mean she was a part of the whole interview process? Uh, Lovely T calls me on Friday. She said, hey girl, she said, um, you still interviewing Star on Friday? I said, yeah, but she ain't answering her calls. So she was like, okay, I got some information on her, but I want to wait until she does the interview. So I was just like, okay, no problem. She said, I can't tell you what it is, but I just know she a clout chaser. I said, okay, well, let me try to get the interview. So then um, I'm calling for- Okay, this proves that she had a different stance and she knew that uh, Star was a clout chaser, right? Lovely T and I have another conversation again. She said, did Star get back to you? I said, nah, I really don't think she, she gonna do it. She was just like, whoa, shit, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to hold on to this information that I got for so long so you know what i'm saying okay i said well just give me a couple days okay keep in mind this is from her mouth there's no proof of this this is just her saying that and keep in mind she's saying oh she can't wait she doesn't want to hold on the information because she you know she wants to drop it as if she's waiting for tasha to drop hers first when she isn't. Tasha K ends up getting the interview. Then Lovely T calls her, asks her a question about the interview. She tells her what the interview felt like or whatever. Like, wow. You know, it was it was one of those situations. And so she was like, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop my sh And I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put up my trailer. Lovely T drops her video, gets the search engine going. Boom. Impressive has a heavy platform. Shout out to Impressive. Lovely T has a heavy platform. I'm like, okay, I'm the underdog. In this. And this is where Tasha K shows that she did all this extra shit to trend the internet. Okay, I said my interview was gonna drop on Thursday. Let me drop that bitch now. So I ended up dropping my video a day early because it was in the search engine. If it's trending, I wanted it to trend along with the other videos before people had a chance to like debunk it and then nobody would watch it. So I said, nah, nah, I put money and time into this interview. I gotta put this shit out, okay? Professional. Tasha K dragged Lovely T along with her when she said that she did this on purpose. She did the interview on purpose. She did it so she can trend the internet and they were like dropping videos at the same time and it just made it sound like lovely T was involved in all that bull in actual reality that was not the case she wasn't involved in that extent she gave her a title but she wasn't involved in oh let's drop the videos at the same time Tasha K already confirmed that she dropped her video after she saw the others drop the videos and she wanted her video to trend with the others before she got debunked or whatever so, Lovely T wasn't involved in that. A lot more drama, like Tasha K uploaded a video about Lovely T. She explained her side of the story and maybe I'll drop that into another video. There's all this other stuff as well and, you know, accusations of Lovely T taking church money. I was so confused. I was like... Is Lovely T a priest? Like, what? I'm confused. What do they mean? I'm gonna look into that later on. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'll see you in another drama video.